Hello, this is Cheo with part of a series uh, on student affairs. And this is part of NASPA's Career and Student Affairs Month. And today we have with us Jose Villar. Jose, thank you for being here. Of course, thank you for having me. Jose, tell us a little bit about what you do in student affairs. Yeah, definitely. So, um, um, again, I'm Jose Villar. I work at the College of Richard Program within the Department of the College of Richmond Outreach Programs. Um, what I do is I really focus on helping students with their transition to the institution. So students who are the first in their family to go to college, incoming students, helping them have a smooth transition, getting them acclimated with new student orientation and course placement, things like that. Okay. Now, Jose, what uh, made you consider or what motivated you to consider higher education and student affairs as a profession? So the one motivating factor was my own experience. I came to camp or to UNM and it was a large campus. I'm originally from Grants, so an hour up the road, but I thought that there was nobody on campus to support me or no one really understood me and boy was I wrong. So the um, College of Richard program was the office that I really leaned on and they took me under my wing and I realized, hey, you could actually do this for a, li a living and uh, that kind of encouraged me to really take advantage of different opportunities um, to try to pursue this as a career. Okay. And you had an excellent experience as an undergraduate because you were part of NUF, the NASPA Undergraduate Fellowship Program. Tell us what, what doors opened because of that program. What, what did you do because of that program? Awesome. Yeah, so with NUF I was able to meet with a mentor here on campus um, regularly told me about the ins and outs of student affairs, but I also got to do an internship at the University of Vermont. I spent a summer out there and worked with their Dean of Students Office, their athletic department. I also participated in the Dungy Leadership Institute. So I went to the University of Arkansas and there was about 50 other um, future fu um, student affairs professionals who were young and were able to collaborate and make some friends and build some connections. So I was able to explore all the different options within student affairs. What a great experience. You realize that this is a large area uh, with a lot of opportunities, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Now, Jose, what advice do you have of students or even staff to consider higher education as a profession, especially student affairs? I would say for students, first off, is that there's dozens of, of or hundreds of people on this campus that are looking to support you. And unlike my experience, I thought that there was nobody. Um, but there are plenty of different offices, support programs, initiatives that will be there to support you and help you be successful. And the other thing is that you could do that yourself. Um, if you were like me and you felt that there was a gap in something, you could come back and contribute. And those um, staff members or faculty on campus that are interested in current student affairs, I would say come and talk to me. I think I'm one of the strongest advocates for student affairs because it definitely impacted my life. And that's why I get to do it every single day to try to give back. Jose, you're a great mo role model for our students, so thank you for all your contributions thank and you. for your message. Of course.